Hi everybody, hello, hello, welcome back. I'm going to be working on our uh, craft file folder today and I think you can guess by everything that I've got out I will be working on the pink page. That's this one. So, oh I like that blue one. I haven't seen it for a while when you see it, it looks quite nice. So, let's open this. Oh, take the pink page out for us to work on and pop that away to my famous one side <laughs> right so i want to make a pocket this time straight up sort of pocket um and i've got this pink piece i've got that side which is very nice and this side it's got big words on it <laughs> I'm not sure I want. Um, wondering how much I need. Probably not masses. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I think I'll cut it to to there, just underneath importer and maker. So where's my little trimmer? It's buried, buried. Okay, so just underneath there. Like that. And that's the remnant that can go back in the box, in the bag, should I say, of all the stuff. Oops, I don't know why I'm going with that. So I want that on the bottom. So just need to trim off the sides a little bit. Just to the same width as the, as the paper, as the page. Right, so we've got the first first layer of our page in. Excellent. Now above that, I've got a remnant uh, from another page. In fact, it's this page. Uh, and that's what it looks like on this side, which is very pretty uh, and too nice not to use. So I'm going to use that over this piece I don't want it to come up as far as the tab, so it's going to go there, and I just want to mark that as well. Same width. Excellent. So that's going on the bottom, that's going next up to about there, down a little touch, just down beneath that uh, tab. So there. Um, I then want, I want something over some of this. So I've got a couple of bits in question this bit i don't want to bring it all the way down to the bo bottom that would kind of wouldn't look right in my mind so i'm going to leave the bit that says importer and maker so that could go there that would be all right that looks okay i've also got this piece which is massive but not quite the full width so so i could put that there then that where that goes. Imagine it's straight. That there and that there. Yeah, that looks quite nice. I quite like that. Um, and 
then well then I've got this which is a piece from witchcraft you do and it's in the bits and pieces number four I think I think I could put that there I quite like that green and I've got this piece which I'm determined to use because I really love it. This needs a little trim around there. And I kind of want this halfway on there. Like that. Which is lovely, like that. But I want to build the pocket up at the back. So I've got several choices. I've got this bit that we opted not to use on the bottom. So that could go there. I'm going to have a journaling card behind so it doesn't really matter that that doesn't stand out. Um, I've got this piece. That's nice, isn't it? I've looked out some flowers. I want to use some flowers. Um, I'm not sure which one, so I've laid out loads. There's that one. That looks nice on there, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to audition them all. That looks nice as well. Not as nice as the other one. There's this one from the old set. A little bit small, perhaps. This one, mm, I don't think so. I don't know why. Don't have a reason. This one, no, it needs to be a bit more colour. Then these ones from the new set. That one, it's it's just too much. It's overwhelming. It's too large. Too large. And that one which is very nice actually that one so my choice is either that oh my goodness i can't pick anything up or this one that one or that one i don't know i kind of like that one yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so that's the flower choice sorted. That's the backing sorted. That, that and that. Right, the only thing that I want now are some little snippety bits. Because that's all very blocky really. So, um, I've looked out some green and some neutral ones. I'm not sure where they're going. I um, don't think I'm mad keen on that shape, but I could tuck that under there, like that. And this one's a little bit green, it's not megaly green, but it is a little bit, which could go up there. Come on, stop acting a fool. Stop being a Charlie. So that could go there. And now we're getting a few layers involved. It's looking a bit better. <coughs> so this one I could have down here. With another one maybe. These are from the Curator Snippets. Honestly, probably my most used stuff. I don't think I seldom do I build a collage without using them. Um, so I've still got this one. <coughs> well, it makes sense to put that there, really, doesn't it? Yeah, like that. 
And then I've got a butterfly, which I do want to use. So I think that might go quite nicely there. And then I've got some uh, rub-ons that we could put around here, around here, up there, down there, whatever. That's a possibility. So let's see if I can remember that. And huh, start sticking things on. OK, so I'll put them like that and I might remember. It's doubtful, but I might. Well, it's a dry day today here, which is worthy of note because we haven't had very many of late. But Mr. F's making the most of it and he's carrying on with the clearing the the house of all the stupid things that we you think you need to keep. Why? 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 Why do we keep them? Don't know. So that's that. Right. So the first thing that happens is this well i need to ink stuff i'm going to ink everything and i'll come back to you okay so i think that's everything inked i think so so let's start some assembling well first thing i can do really is to stick this on here so let's do that first up Yeah, I think Mr. F's probably on first name terms with a guy at the tip by now. He's been there so often. Me and Roger. Uh huh. Yeah, me and Roger. <laughs> We've sold some stuff and some of it just isn't worth putting up for sale, to be honest. So it's gone the journey. Oh, is that square? That's the question. I think so. I think just about. Yeah, let's trim the end off. Put that in the bin because it's got glue on it. Where's my towel gone? And just ink that edge that we've just trimmed off. There we go. Right. Okay, so let's put those to one side. So this is going on the bottom. This is going next up to there. So I can glue that piece on. Um, and it's about three quarters of an inch from the top. Is that, is that the right way? Yeah, A, B, C. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well done, you've learnt your alphabet. There we go. So, I want that just above those words that says importer and maker. About an equal side from both sides make sure that's straight which it isn't that's better okay stick that down it's something like straight okay so let's put that exactly where it's going and introduce this piece, which is going on top of this piece. You could trim that off, actually. In fact, I will. It's not serving any purpose. Let's just trim that off. There we are. I'm going to keep that, though, because that could be used for something. So that's going there. And then that is going just under the tab to there. So I just want a bit of glue on the bottom. Now, 
make sure that's really in place, in the right place. And then pop that just underneath the tab, straighten it up there, and then it should be nice and square. Lovely. Right. The next thing that's going to happen is that's going to get put on there. I'm bringing it over the floral. The floral piece, and just bring it to there so it's not much, not much glue, about a quarter of an inch. And gauge where halfway is, which I'd say is there. Stick that down. Make sure I haven't got any. Oh, I have got glue on the back. Look, this is well I checked. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We're making progress. So the next thing I want is this kind of there in fact exactly there so it's just intersecting with where this piece joins the floral perfect yeah and i can glue all of this piece don't usually use ovals but i don't know this it was one of the first pieces I picked out, actually. Oops, get it the right way around. Kind of make sure it's straight. Please be straight. Well, it's stuck there now. I think that is straight. That's okay. Right. So before we do any of the tartan up bits, I just want to um, just put some masking tape there. Otherwise, when you put the card in, it will catch on that and that. So I've just got uh, masking tape. Masking tape would do. I'm just going to put washi tape along there and also along there. That's fine. Just trim off the excess. It's coming together quite nicely, actually. It's looking nice. that so um oh yeah i just want to burnish this down because it'll be worse than ever if it's not stuck down properly and that keeps catching on your journaling cards so it's going to give that a really good burnish i'm just using the ends of my tweezers but you know <laughs> your ordinary bone folder will do these happen to just be there lovely I'm not going to stick it down yet because I, I want to twist it in various ways um, to get the rub-ons on. So that fits just absolutely perfectly there. I'm not going to ink it because, you know, I think sometimes it makes them look a bit dowdy. So I'm going to just leave that like that, glue that in place. So I wonder how many of you are actually doing this along with me. Or a version of it, of course. I have to have a check, but I think this is us halfway now. 
might be slightly more than halfway but we're certainly getting on that kind of direction right so I want it upright I want it within there perfect just gonna get my tone and press that down lovely that's great pleased with that so far right so now it's the little pieces I uh, forgot to stick that under there so it'll have to go on the top so I'm gonna have that piece there like that and this piece I think I had it there did I have it there I cannot remember and then the butterfly is going to go there. So yeah, that looks like that's what I might have had. Let's do that then. Before I forget again. I would take a, a, fo a photo on my phone. But my phone's being used so I can't do it. Which is about there, I think. And this little one. See, Timmy's bringing out his Halloween selection. Probably do a live, I would imagine, at the weekend. I don't want them to be the same height, so I'll just bring that down a wee bit. And put the butterfly on, which is going to sit nicely there. Making progress. Just there, like that. Perfect. You sit there and be a good little butterfly. I think these butterflies are arty mazes, in fact I'm pretty sure they are. And they may have even been a freebie at some stage on her Facebook group. But all her freebies are now on um, Kofi as well. So they're very accessible. Right, so I've got these here and I cannot remember for love no money. I think I was going to put it underneath that this. So I don't know if I can lift that off. Yikes. No, not very successfully is the answer to that. But I might get that in a little bit. Can I? No. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to put that over the top because I've just had a nasty accident with it. And I know I had three, but let, let's stick those down first. So in as far as I can get, which is not far. Not far at all. This EVA is dynamite stuff. It sticks so quickly and it's just immovable let's just bring that across a little bit to there that's nice that's very nice and I've got one more of these which I don't know where I was going to put Maybe there, make a collage out of those three. Yeah, like that. No reason why I can't use that. There we are. I like that, actually. My little collage of little pieces. Every time I use these now, I think of Judy, who is the queen of teeny. The Queen of Teeny Town. 
Right, so there we are. So which gaps have I got that need filling with uh, rub-ons? Well, there's one here that I could do with filling up. There's a bit of a gap there. Down each side of here, there's a gap and along the bottom. So let's get the rub-ons out and have a look, see what we've got. I think they're before that. Yeah, here they are. Let's just put that to one side for the moment. Um, right, so I've got that gap there. What can I put there? It's not very long, is it? So I don't know. How about that? I'm going to have to implement my tweezers. Will that fit there? Yeah, perfectly. Let's do that then. Yeah, it's just going to take up the plain plainness and kind of add to the overall layered look that we're going for. Lovely, that's perfect. Perfectly perfect. So I want something down here. I could put a word. I've got lots of words. <gasps> um, gosh, I don't know. Let's just get something out and see what it see what I think. So this then, um, would collector fit? I think it would, you know, let's do that. Let's do collector. This is why I didn't want to stick it in, it's just easier to yeah, that's perfect. Easier to move around when it's not stuck in. Oh, I think that's Mr. F putting the lunch on. I'm so grateful. I'm absolutely starving. Salmon today. Salmon salad. There we go, lovely, and something down here as well. So I've got that nice number there, let's use that. It's quite small, but that's fine. We don't need big. Lovely. You do get a little stick with this to rub them on, but I have no idea where it is and my tweezer handles work very well. There we are. So do I need anything else? I don't think so. I think that's about it. So let's put these away, the ones that are left safely otherwise they come apart from the background the the carrier sheet and then they're just you know just ruined they're ruined so let's get rid of this rubbish so now it, we can now stick that down as far as i'm concerned anyway yeah let's do that let's stick it down So 
So I don't know what colour the next page is. If I flip this over, I'd be able to tell you. I will do that before I stick this down because I'm really curious. I think it might be purple, but I can't be sure. So make sure you've got that square on the bottom. And then stick your sides down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Give them a good press. There we go. Yeah, purple. It's <gasps> a nice one, isn't it? Uh, right, so now all I need to do is make a journaling card. And then we are done. Right, so I laid out this piece. It's a remnant uh, from a, a plain pink. You could use the plain pink if you wanted to, but I quite like this. So I'm just going to cut it at the width that I want. Which is... Probably about there. Let's try that. Trimmer, trimmer. <coughs> Just a little remnant, but worth keeping. They're all worth keeping. So that's going to go in behind there, like that. Excellent. Get that straight. And then I need to select something, you know, to ornament it. So I've got that, but I don't think that's going to be big enough. Yeah, it's just the same size as this, so it doesn't look doesn't look great. I don't know where my tweezers have gone now. So I have this one. Just a little bit larger than that, so it looks okay. I quite like that, actually. That's all right. And this one. Goodness me. That does sit there okay. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one. I quite like that green edge because we've got the green down here. So, right. Okay. Let's ink. Let's ink it ink. So I've got lots of ideas for new projects um, because Bob is all but finished, just needs putting together. Um, I've decided I'm going to sew him onto a a false spine and then stick him in um, so I'll show you how I'm going to do that in one of these videos very soon I'm going to go around this but I don't want to detract from that green so I'm just kind of going to do the edge there we go So, I need to just make sure that that is in the middle. It's 
So let's put some glue on it. I'm going to use collar this time so I can move it around if it doesn't look right. give this my best shot. I want it nearer the top than the bottom if there is a choice. I think that's about okay. Let's just, before I really press it down, let's just slip it into here and make sure that looks all right. Yeah. That looks all right. Okay, let's let's stick that down then. Lovely, and you don't need to line the back because it's got it's just like pink. You can easily write on that for sure. That's going kind of to there, just so you can still see the pink flowers. And then I've got a little uh, butterfly, which is the same as this one, but smaller, that I'm going to just put there. Just balance that out a little bit. That was a quick page, wasn't it? So I'll just pop that up there. Like that. Marvellous. There we go. Job done. So let's pop it back into the folder. Oh, can't yet. I haven't put the holes in. Ninny. I'm just going to punch those out. I'm useless at this. I don't know why I am so useless, but I seem to find lining them up almost an impossibility. hope that fits in. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. So, so far we've done, how many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, still to go. So we are at a, the exact halfway mark. That looks nice like that, doesn't it? The pink and the blue. I like it. So I hope you like it too. And I hope you're joining in and playing along <coughs> and having a good time generally. Just scrapbooking, that's what we're doing. Well, junk journaling, I guess. There we go. Right, so I'll see you very soon and I have no idea whether I'm going to be doing Bob or this or something entirely different. Who knows? Bye for now. <laughs>